start with the lifestyle playgrounds and landmark attractions of the famous 75 miles of Sunny coastline. Los Angeles is the entertainment capital of the world. Please welcome Tammy Lee, International Tourism Manager of the Los Angeles Tourism and Convention Board. Hi everybody. Um, Again, my name is Tammy Lee with LA Tourism and just wanted to introduce you to Los Angeles and why you should choose Los Angeles as your mice or leisure and centum group. We have some great photos of Los Angeles as you can see there um, and it's open at our media library if you ever wanted to download them. Great, um, so first I wanted to highlight that easy access. The Los Angeles International Airport is easy access with over 63 airlines serving 30 countries, 155 cities and growing. Um, as you know, this past year, in September 2013, we actually opened our new Tom Bradley International Terminal, where there is actually 18 new gates, and of the 18 new gates, nine can do the new A380 uh, new generation aircraft. Um, just to make it more manageable for Los Angeles, we've actually broken it down into six regions uh, to help you navigate and plan. So we have the beach regions, Hollywood, downtown, west side, San Gabriel Valley, and the San Fernando Valley. As you know, Los Angeles is quite large. It's 469 square miles. Um, some, wow, the images did not come out. Um, we have a dedicated convention center. Uh, we can do anything between 10 to 10,000 capacities for our delegates. And only in LA venues, if you think about it, should you include the Hollywood Movie Studios, um, the Dolby Theater, which is home to the Academy Awards, and stunning coastlines. And it's going really fast now. 984 hotels and growing as well. We actually have 13 hotels in the pipeline and we'll be coming up to 100,000 bedrooms. Uh, World-class um, property, small boutique, and then anything else in between. And basically, we have an incredible range of hotel options for you and your guests. Um, shopping, my favorite thing. Uh, we have really great relationships with all the shopping outlets, um, malls that offer special programs, discount programs, and can do something really nice for your guests. Uh, local shopping neighborhoods, I'm sure you guys have heard of Rodeo Drive, Melrose Avenue, Robertson Boulevard. Uh, we have just a plethora of shopping when it comes to that. And basically a few recap of why Los Angeles. Ease of access, as I mentioned earlier, 300, over 300 days of sunshine, endless entertainment, dynamic cultural scene, restaurants, you name it, we have all our top chef, celebrity chef, and um, restaurants that are owned by celebrities. Legendary sports teams, I'm sure you guys have heard of the LA Lakers and Dodgers. So what's new is our new Tom Bradley International Terminal that I mentioned. Despicable Me Minion, which will be opening up this spring, we're really excited about. The Broad Contemporary Art Museum, which will be opening up next to the Walt Disney Concert Hall. Um, and then, unlike other places, we only have three seasons, and we call it summer, kind of cold, and award season. <laughs> um, so just wanted to let you know that some of the award seasons are open to the public, like the Grammy Awards, uh, the People's Choice Awards. So if you guys have clients that want that celebrity, red carpet ready experience, we can certainly help you with that. Um, and basically look at us as your um, destination experts. And we are your dot connectors. If you're looking for something, we're happy to connect you with that piece. And that's me. Let me know if you have any questions. So, uh, Tammy, yes. are, you, are you able, uh, what are the, uh, the, the uh, talk shows and the TV shows that are based in Los Angeles. Talk shows and TV, yeah, like Ellen is taped at the Warner Brothers Studios. Uh, Big Bang Theory, I don't know if you guys are fans of that show, it's taped nearby too. And just, so what is, what is your ability to gain, help operators gain access to, the, because, uh, the, you know, your, your destination is just iconically related to the entertainment industry. Absolutely. So I think what would matter is just the celebrities and just the, uh, and, you know, what, interactions yeah, the interactions with the, with, with some of the studios and yeah, behind um, the scenes. Absolutely. There's actually several of the studios that do a VIP experience. Like Universal Studios actually does a wonderful VIP experience where you get your own private trolley, you do a behind the scenes experience, you go to the prop rooms, you actually can go onto one of the sets, like, like a live set, and kind of see it and check it out, which is really great. If you want more of a celebrity experience where it's more um, new and trendy, Starline Tours just recently did a TMZ tour, which is called the 30 Mile Zone, where all the celebrity things are happening. So if they actually see a celebrity on the street, they will pull over and interview the celebrity right there and then. <laughs> um, so, so how about uh, pop, uh, you know, do you arrange like you know, some offbeat uh, things such as uh, you know getting paparazzi to come in and take pictures of 
people at you know specific meetings can you uh, arrange that sort of thing because that's i think what they're so looking for after. yeah actually there's a few hotels in hollywood and los angeles areas where they're called it's called the paparazzi entourage so you could basically be filmed like you're on a reality tv show it could be you know jake steinman's day in la kind of experience and they'll follow him around with the camera crew and then even have um, entourage extras following him around so it makes him still seem like he's doing something and doing Something productive. Well, yes, like for exactly. A <laughs> Having a drink at a cafe. Look at him drink that cafe. <laughs> yeah. so, that's great. Yeah. That would be fun. That would be fun. <laughs> so anyway, Tammy, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Look forward to meeting you all.